Yeah, summary of Talga would be that we're an ASX listed company that's uh, in the technology mineral space. So we have the world's highest grade resource of graphite, which we make uh, bulk graphene from in a unique process using a unique ore based in Sweden. We process in Germany with a pilot plant and we produce materials. So in that way, we're, we're vertically integrated advanced material producer that's exposing these um, conductive materials into the uh, battery to construction sectors. Well, apart from our being the highest grade deposit in the world, we're also located in Sweden, which is a, a different jurisdiction to a lot of deposits. It's got sensational logistics and direct links, uh, direct road and rail links into, into Europe and a very high amount of uh, green power available for, for development. Um, also, we're vertically integrated. We actually use our special processing technique to make the graphenes and, and graphites, but we also have um, an internal science team that can make products from those graphenes. So we're now making value-added graphene products for uh, everything from the battery sector to the construction and coating sector. Currently, we've just completed our, our second test mining program, and that's prov uh, feeding a pilot plant that we've got operating in, in Germany. That's making large samples for customer development and producing uh, actual graphene-enhanced products. Um, so what we're doing is we're using that to commercialise material basically this year. So we'll be testing revenue opportunities in, uh, in 2017. Yeah, the market for, for graphite in all its forms is about a million tonnes per annum and graphene's are sort of in an early stage of development, so uh, there's maybe up to a thousand tonnes a year being uh, produced at the moment. But our market is actually the current materials market that's currently uh, zirc things like zircon, zinc, copper, so it's many times larger than that. So the applications for graphene can be, in coatings alone, um, is a 40 million tonne per a year market for the actual materials. So this, this sort of forms of carbon can make things stronger or lighter or more conductive. And so anything that needs stronger or lighter or more conductive, um, graphene and, and some of our related graphites can go into those products. And therefore it's not really so much around where the market is for graphites now, it's about where, what other minerals are being used currently to do those jobs and we can replace them, the, the, the incumbent materials can be replaced with our graphene uh, products. Uh, our current collaborations are with a range of people across the four sectors we're targeting. Batteries is certainly a, a key component of that, and that includes all battery technologies, so not just lithium ion, but also things like flow batteries. Um, also, we're exposed to the clean tech sector there in related conductive inks uh, as well. We currently have collaborations underway with um, some global giants like the Tata Group, but we also have um, collaborations with startup companies who have got shareholders or relationships with big end users. For example, Haydale, which is a listed company, has got relationships to Huntsman who make Araldite. They, they're a very large epoxy uh, producer in the world. So most of our collaborations are very strategic at the moment and we're expecting to um, uh, develop those um, a lot further very soon. Uh, in 12 months, I'd like to see Talga um, massively re-rated in, in value to reflect some of the numbers from our previous economic studies. Um, I think primarily we will continue building the ship so, so it sets sail and I think what that means is we'll be delivering cargoes during 2017, meaning we'll be delivering products which will then be getting collaborations and commercial agreements so that people can see the, the real potential of the revenue from, from this business. Um, so by the end of 2017 I think that will be, uh, that will be complete.